first of all this is something that i probably i'm not a fan of talking about women on here because i think you know in general it's not my place and i think uh talking about oh, i don't know that's kind of gossipy women things just not mike's thing uh but i thought this was an interesting case study in uh how people navigate on social especially you know the bigger stars and what they're willing to do for the sake of it and sometimes all they're willing to do for the fuck of it um this comes from news from hot new hip-hop actually just come out now actually i think where is it here let me get it up here for you to see so this is from hot new hip-hop it says takaji 69 and Nicki minaj announce trolls single so it's been rumored for a while um that 69 had a big collaboration um in the tuck that he was going to do with a really big uh big artist in the industry i think this came off the back of the general assumption was that because 69 came <coughs> sorry <coughs> allergies because 69 eventually was released from prison due to his cooperating with the police aka snitching um there was assumption within the hip-hop community that no one was going to work with him right everyone was going to blackball him it was going to be completely you know a no from him from the industry and he was just had to go and be like a social pariah and just you know had to move to mexico and make reggaeton records and hang out with you know and well or whatever right so i guess this this news is a reaction to that like no i've actually got the backing of people in the industry behind the scenes but they don't want to come out because they don't want to look bad in front of their peers because essentially this is mostly like a peer thing i think for the most part i think if you ask fans really if they care about 6 9 snitching and if they care about the circumstances around his case and why he got home and <clears throat> and the fact that you know he put other people's families at risk or he locked up his you know his co-defendants up because you know he wasn't willing to um commit himself fully to the gangster lifestyle i think most people don't really give a shit but a lot of the kind of tension in this whole story comes from the industry like he is disparaged by his peer group right six nine like the people within this you know label executives a and r's people that work in the record label themselves you know front of house and marketing team artists on the roster whatever all those people are gonna are gonna hate the dude right uh, because it's just a thing like it's just a group thing right we all kind of hate him because you know um hip-hop culture <clears throat> has some ties to you'd say you know gangland culture in that regard and he was purporting an image of being a gangster he wasn't true to himself he wasn't true to that image he wasn't true to that lifestyle to that code of conduct and he kind of broke one of the fundamental rules of um of being in a gang um was essentially by throwing his other uh co-defenders or his other gang members under the bus so that he can be free and if you commit to that lifestyle you have to commit you know there's no way about it i i'm one of those people that would say that and i'm never i'm nowhere i'm about as close to being a gangster as you are do you know what i mean so and i know that but he decided you know what, f it i'll do it but if we if we think we're living in a new normal uh post covid19 we have to accept that we're living in a new normal uh you know with the streaming era and uh, with social media it's just a new it's just a different world i think um <clears throat> you know there was this remember back in the day when young berg you know used to get robbed every like every other week for his jewelry he fell off his moped with a girl on the back of it just knows a really like unfortunate kind of you know social media faux pas right and for the most part his career kind of got tanked off from it right he had to kind of go into hiding and change his name and you know change up his thing he just had to kind of fix up his image to kind of come back out and you and improve and even now people some people still probably hold that against him i don't because i think he's an amazing producer but that was a big issue back then i just think nowadays it wouldn't be if a really hot you know up-and-coming producer did what you know john gabaga john gaban or whatever his name is did and side you know or well, bonk gang was his name right <laughs> side nodding off on interviews and doing lines on fucking on the table as he's, in, as he's getting interviewed by angie martinez no one would fucking give a shit as long as you're producing the music no one cares but back in the day it was a big deal so i think there's a tension there because maybe Nicki minaj represents the old school and six nine is sort of like the new school she there's they're probably like hey you should know better you can't collaborate with him but you know they're both probably the same person in that regard that's why they probably like working with each other in that regard that they see a lot of each other in themselves maybe i don't know but anyway the article says it's got six nine and Nicki minaj announced their new single trolls which will release on june 12th uh the rumor were true 
after weeks of speculation that Texas Station to catch the 6 9 so it was teaming up with a big name rapper on his new single the identity of the said rapper has been revealed for the last couple of days Nicki Minaj has been teasing her return to the game with subtle hints she shared what appeared to be some lyrics on the Twitter um, after she was reportedly transported to 6 9 secret location to film a music video although the song has suffered from three setbacks in the form of delays the new single Texas Station and Nicki Minaj has officially been announced the lyric says, showed you how to get a bag, now you're going shopping. Okay, cool. So, and of course you got the image with this sort of animation of Nicki Minaj and 6 9 uh, holding hands and I guess in their tongue kissing there in some regard. So we might see some sort of viral moment where he kisses her or something. I don't know. That might be one of the things they might be able to do. Um, Of course, musically, will it be good? Probably not. If you've got a taste of what... 6 ix 9 has done so far post coming out of pen you'd have to say if he's lost a lot of credibility by throwing his you know gang member friends under the bus he's also maybe lost some of that you know punch to his lyrics because he don't have those kind of you know certified goons and playing next to him and quite possibly there might be you know i don't know if this none of this is true i don't i've not really looked that deep into it but maybe some of those dudes were ghostwriting for him you'd not you never know they, they might have been helping him out with some bars that probably added a bit of edge to some of the stuff he was saying so the lyrics that he's got now especially that god between wasn't that great um doesn't really have that much playback value um and I'm assuming Trolls will be the same too. Um, Trolls might end up being like Fifi where everyone loves Nicki Minaj's verse and just, you know, kind of um, endures 6 9 opening verse just to hear Nicki kind of spray. So that might be a situation. But I'm assuming we're going to see some kind of lip embrace, some sort of tongue kissing or some sort of antics and maybe slapping a bum. I don't know. You know how these people are, innit? And then <clears throat> I think we've got some images actually new development this is uh Nicki minaj dragged several <laughs> dragged several severely for to catch six nine collab this is again from hot new hip-hop so i'm guessing it's an update it says nick music fans okay not nicky fan i think nicky fans like her, her collaborating with six nine i assume right because fifi tried quite well for or performed quite well on the charts and if there's anyone that cares a lot about charts placements and stuff it's six nine and nicky right they they are always rabbing on about where they sit on the charts um so this probably makes sense. We shouldn't be that surprised. He says here, um, music fans social media react to Nicki Minaj with Six Nine. Said this, uh, this was a move meant to endear people to her brand. Nicki Minaj did not succeed because after announcing she would be teaming up Six Nine, she's being dragged across social media. Yeah, that's to be expected. Though. So the dragon is a picture of the the two clapping artists. The dragon is interesting because I think when it comes to Nicki, um, it seems like similar to maybe like a Katie Hopkins. They tend to kind of enjoy. No, no, no. Let's take it back. I don't can't compare Nikki to Katie, but let's say I find it interesting with Nikki because there was a moment where she was trying to be liked, right? She was trying to um, get back in the good graces with the public, right? Um, maybe that was during her ongoing beef with Cardi B or after the fact, but it did seem like she was making some effort to kind of write rewrite her wrongs, yeah, to kind of uh, rewrite the narrative. I'm not a bitch, I'm not petty, I'm not mean, right? Um, all this sort of stuff that was kind of getting put out about her, she just wanted to fight against it. And then it got to a point where she just stopped trying to prove people wrong and just sort of like lent into the, you know, her that kind of persona that she'd kind of built up for herself and kind of, you know, confirmed everyone's you know, suspicions, you know, that she probably is a bit of a mean person. Um, she probably can be a little bit um, cutthroat she probably can be a little bit manipulative and backstabbing but it is what it is isn't it um she's successful she makes good records she charts really well and she has a loyal 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 fan base so it probably got to a point where she just thought like you know what there's no point trying to convince people that don't like me to like me because they're not going to be fans of me regardless of what i do so this probably could explain why she decided to collaborate with 6ix9ine again because in her eyes she's never gonna get would wh wh whatever fans she had that left her and jumped on the Cardi train, they're never going to come back again because they're two completely different personalities. If you like Cardi for who she is as a person, I don't see how you could ever be a fan of Nicki Minaj. They, they represent complete opposites. They're, no, represent, they're complete polar opposites personality-wise. Um, how they can interact with their fans, the music they make for the most part, um, just how they carry themselves. They're complete opposites. So there's no way you could even have some kind of overlap. So 
it does make some sense why she'd be like you know what f it let me do it because she's not losing anything i don't think any of her hardcore fans the barbs are really that bothered that she's covering with six nine they're just happy that she's got new music out i'm assuming because they want a new album from her right um so <coughs> they, they could get a whole album featuring six nine they'll be over the moon about it so i don't think it's that much of a big deal for them um but i guess if you're a casual hip or if you're a hip-hop fan in general seeing somebody like Nicki minaj seeing somebody of her stature who you know people deem to be a legend and somebody as certified it's a bit disconcerting when you see them kind of you know trying to court attention online and be like a viral hit or to try and catch a viral moment um they call it what they, they call it the viral virus right and at first it was funny because there was a time when a lot of the older hip-hop acts would kind of point fingers at the younger guys and be like oh yeah you know these guys are not really about the music they're just about being viral and doing all this nonsense and you know hickory dickory do to get attention but if you look at it really it's the artists that are old the, it's actually the older artists who are a bit cold right who haven't necessarily got a hit running at the moment who probably haven't necessarily shown the ability to you know kind of adapt with the times or re or kind of uh reinvent their sound um, or jump on a wave those are the ones that actually are more prone to doing nutty things online to get attention just to kind of divert it to their record they're the ones that do the most corny things to be honest the older artists that's actually the truth of it um because if you're a young artist you know there's only so many of those antics you can do until it kind of gets boring you kind of have to do them subtly or just you know become an antic and walking antic yourself um so i'm not surprised really like i said i'm not surprised i think nikki's always been that person and she's kind of lent into it now and be like you know what if it if people are going to talk about me I, I i'll let them talk about me on my terms right so she's kind of pressed the button did this collab with him she got this photo shoot with the dude where she's sitting down looking up at him lovingly or acquisitively i don't know um yeah so I'm, I'm assuming the video will be as it is you know him wearing his watches bursting about his millions uh, talking about how she makes guys come quickly i don't know you know standard things that they that they both rap about i don't know what else you want from me in that regard but um yeah let's see what that sounds like man interested to interesting to hear it it'll be the same length i'm assuming 2 minutes 35 you know nikki maybe at the end or on the chorus i don't know um i thought that'd be a good way to um open the show but let's see yeah when it drops like should i review it? i'm not gonna review it i don't give a shit really Let's move on.